Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of Excel, conditional formatting. It's a powerful tool that allows you to highlight cells based on specific conditions, making your data easier to interpret and analyze. But before we move forward, I would like to tell you that B10X is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Talkies using AI tools. The link is in the description below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's dive into the details of conditional formatting. Conditional formatting in Excel is like having a magic wand to instantly draw attention to important information. Whether you want to spot trends, identify outliers, or highlight specific data points, conditional formatting has got you covered. The process is surprisingly simple. You define the conditions, choose the formatting style, and Excel does the rest. It's a game changer for anyone working with large data sets or complex spreadsheets. For example, let's say you are analyzing sales data. With conditional formatting, you can set roles to highlight cells with sales figures above a certain threshold in green and those below in red. Instantly, you can identify which products are performing well and which ones need attention. But wait, there is more. Conditional formatting isn't just about numbers. You can apply it to a text, dates, and even formulas. The possibilities are endless and the impact on your workflow is profound. Now, before we look into an example with the help of ChatGPT, I would like to tell you one important thing which all of you need to know. AI is taking over the world. In such a short span of time, we have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot. You don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will. If you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our two-hour Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI Tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description. Now back to conditional formatting. Now back to conditional formatting. So here I'm going to give a prompt chart GPT as you can see the prompt says can you help me with an example of analyzing sales data with conditional formatting in Excel where we have to highlight sales based on conditions also create dummy data for the example so let's run this As you can see, here we got the output and here is the dummy data. Let's copy this. So we have a product column and sales column. I'm going to paste it in our Excel sheet. Now, here are the thing. We have to highlight sales with sales greater than or equals to 700 in green okay then you have to highlight sales with sales between 500 and 699 in yellow then you have to highlight sales with sales below 500 in red and then we have to highlight the 
highest sales value in the column in blue so let's do this okay for that we have to select the range of sales in sales column okay then we have to go to home tab on the excel ribbon we have to click on conditional formatting in styles group we have to choose new rule from the drop down list in new formatting rule dialog box select format cells that contain from the drop down menu then we have to select cell value and choose greater than or equals to from the second drop down menu we have to enter value 700 in the text box okay so let's do this thing first of all we have to select cells containing sales data then we have to go to conditional formatting here highlight cells rules so as of now i'll select uh, greater than one okay so here we have to select this one only only format cells that contain so here i'm going to select greater than or equals to okay and here is a value so first one is 700 right sales greater than or equals to 700 in green okay so we are going to fill it with gray then we have to repeat the same steps for highlighting cells with sales between 500 and 699 in yellow okay so again you have to go to condition formatting here between so uh, the values are 500 and 699 okay this one should be in yellow and then again we have to go to conditional formatting here now you have to highlight cells with sales below 500 in red okay less than okay here uh, the value is 500 okay just click on okay and uh, we have to highlight the highest sales value in the column so let's do this so again we have to go to conditional formatting here we have to select top slash bottom rules then top 10 items okay here i'm just going to keep one then here we have to click on customized format so first of all font should be regular okay then uh, color should be automatic then border we don't need then fill background color should be blue okay and i'm just going to click on okay then okay so as you can see uh, this is the highest sales value which is a thousand dollars that's why it got highlighted in blue so these are in red and green and in so this is how conditional formatting works in excel and that's a wrap on conditional formatting in excel i hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you are ready to level up your excel game before you go don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you